안녕하세요. 제 이름은 나미입니다. Hi, it's Nami. Today, I'm going to try to get back to blonde. Actually, I washed my hair twice and it looks like the rose gold is faded quite a bit. I feel like my hair is kind of back to, like close to where it was before I put on my rose gold hair color. But I still have like red pigments from Christmas time. I'm going to try to take your recommendations for a non-bleach hair color remover mixture. I've already tried a chemical color remover, but I feel scared to use that because I'm not sure how it would change my hair. Like it turned blue last time. I've already did like a rinse with that and I'm scared to do more with that. So I'm actually gonna follow some of the DIY recipes that you have recommended in the comments. So thank you to everyone who recommended interesting formulas. A lot of people are saying to try baking soda mixed with 10 or 20 volume developer and dish soap shampoo or purple shampoo. Jelani said that she tried it on dark pink slash red hair and it took the color out in two applications. I'm also reading that leaving it on for longer can help as well. So I'm gonna try to leave it on for an hour. Everyone is recommending the same formula with the baking soda, dish soap, 10 or 20 volume developer, and shampoo or purple shampoo. This four ingredient recipe. I guess I'm gonna try that. Leave it on for an hour, see how it turns out. I'm scared, how much of each do I put? I'm actually scared. I'll just show you what my hair looks like. It kind of looks really light rose gold, almost like a pinky, peachy, golden peach. I guess let's put in our base shampoo first. I'm gonna use the No Yellow shampoo from Fanola. It's a purple shampoo. I don't have 10 volume developer, so I'm gonna use 20 volume developer. Arm and Hammer. The purple shampoo will help counteract the yellow. I don't feel that scared to put a little bit of this palm olive. Everyone was saying Dawn dish soap. I think because it has like a lot of cleansing and stain removing properties. However, I don't have Dawn dish soap right now. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of this palm olive. Hopefully it'll counteract the red in my hair. I'm scared. <laughs> But I'm also gonna put a little bit of this Olaplex Bond Multiplier, number one. It's supposed to, oh no! What's happening? I'm scared. It's supposed to help like rebond broken hair when you're bleaching or coloring hair. Oh my gosh, I'm scared. What happened? Okay, let's just mix in. <laughs> Runny, then it's like everywhere. Look, it's even on my foot. Before you say anything about my shirt, this is my designated coloring shirt. So yes, it's white, but it's like I'm meaning to use it for the purpose of staining things. So it's okay. Somebody said I should section my hair as if I'm dyeing it, like apply it as if I'm dyeing it. So that's what I'm doing. But I'm, I'm not enjoying it right now. It just feels sweat and gross and I'm spilling everywhere. I'm sorry, I love you, but this is hard. <gasps> I hope this works. I have a feeling my hair will just be stained blue. What if I get stained blue? I know this purple shampoo is really strong. Guys, just a little longer. <gasps> Oh, I'm actually suffering, guys. Oh, I got it on my Coco Top Ryan pajama pants. <laughs> oh, my. The pains of red, man. The pains of red just sticks and stays. And you have to resort to these kind of methods. I hope my blonde comes back, I'm suffering. I 
Okay, let me show you. Then there's like Hi Zeke. There's like a whole bunch on my pajamas. All of this. I don't even know how I'm gonna wipe this. I'm gonna wait an hour while I do that. I guess I'll clean this up. What's wrong? <laughs> it's been an hour and 15. Not even that damaged. Like, yeah, it looks like noodles, but it always looks like noodles when it's wet. Yo, yo, what? I can't believe this right now. I. I. Just I. Like, I. Like, wow. Wow. Can you even? Like, what? I might. Put some more right where this little bit of pink is. I feel like it'll be okay. Let me let me consult my hair consultant. You're blonde again. I know I'm blonde. Now you gotta tone it right. This is make it a bit more silver. Okay, I need to ask you though. So should I do the concoction right where there's leftover pink, or should I just no leave move it. on? Move on because this looks nice. What you are you like gonna do it next? like kind of like? What are you gonna do next? Half half. What are you gonna do? Brown, black. What are you gonna do? What do you want me to do? Let us know down below. <laughs> okay, let's throw some old plucks on it and then I can show you what it looks like when it's dry. The consultant has spoken. <laughs> <laughs> Throw some Olaplex. Guys, you guys got me. You guys clutch. Okay, I suffer, but like, it's been good. It's been good. It's been good, guys. My hair is kind of coming out a bit. Just a little bit. Not as much as it would with bleach, though. Y'all got my back. Y'all got my back. I just gotta listen to you, you know what I mean? I'm gonna leave this on for like 30 minutes to an hour and then I'll rinse it out, dry my hair, and I'll see you then. Okay guys, before I show you how my hair looks completely dry, I have to say that I think it's kind of damaged because it's very gummy. It's gummier than it usually is and it's taking long to dry. It kind of feels like how it did after I over-processed it. So just watch out if you do have over-processed hair that you may have to be careful, put some recovery stuff, do follow-up treatments after this kind of like, I think the developer, it like blasts open the cuticles and helps get the color out. But yeah, it's taking pretty long to dry it's been two hours but my hair is still not drying so I'm just trying to blow dry it I feel like it's way too risky to just let my hair dry I feel like I'll end up with kinks so I might as well detangle it braid it look at this loop-de-loop -loop. do you see that right here a loop-de-loop -loop. you do not want loop-de-loops in your hair and then wait for it to dry anyways now I've got some cute braids on I'm going to go take a nap. I'll see you when it's dry. Time to unleash my hair. My hair is still a little damp. It's the end of the day. It's doing a lot better than it was before in terms of like gumminess. I do want to take my braids out though to just show you what it looks like. It's quite yellow. Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> Guys, okay, I suffered, but you know, it's snatching. It'd be good, it'd be good, it'd be good. I feel like a mermaid. This, this, this is good, this is good. It's good. I'm actually really happy. I really like it. I think the purple shampoo helped not make it so yellow. I definitely recommend using a hair repair type 
product after you do this because I think using the developer it does blow out your cuticles. Even when I was squeezing the water out after I rinsed my hair, my hair felt two to three times thicker in terms of diameter just because I think there was so much water in my hair and my cuticles were blown out. So it did feel not as drying as the baking soda or vitamin C, but it did feel like damaged, if you know what I mean. Thank you for your suggestions. Thank you always for your help these last two years of my hair suffering journey. <laughs> Be careful, you know, don't rip through your hair. Don't brush your hair or don't rip through with a comb or brush when your hair is vulnerable in a vulnerable state. If you'd like to see what happens next to my hair, definitely make sure to subscribe and click the bell. I can't get used to it, oh my gosh. This is the first time I'm blonde with like black roots and like so yellow blonde. Like usually I'm platinum, like white blonde, silvery blonde, but it looks good. You're looking good, girl. Definitely make sure to click the bell notification so that you're notified right when new videos come out. That's usually the time that we do take to reply to your comments. So we will see you then. Goodbye. <laughs>